Uh, now, Jamie has written uh, this book. It's called Imperfectly Natural Woman. And uh, before we get into to some of your ideas, how did you get into, or why did you get into this sort of alternative, holistic sort Well, the, of the really important bit about the book, I must say, it's called Imperfectly Natural yeah. Woman. It is for men as well, by the way. It's okay. just as much for you. It just rolled off the tongue better. But the imperfect bit is really important because I just don't get everything right. But I think probably what happened to me, as happens to so many of us, you get to a certain age and you think, ooh, um... I want to be a bit healthier than I am, or I want a bit more energy. What am I actually eating? What am I putting on my skin? You know, and is there an alternative that might be a little bit safer? And then, of course, when you have kids, you all of a sudden realise that actually the holistic picture is really important. And we are on a planet, and we might want to leave a bit of it for them. So then you start thinking a little bit more about the environment. But I stress that I don't get everything right, and I can't stand people who are complete, you know, tree-hugging yeah, eco-warriors, yeah, because yeah, they're yeah. just driving mad. And, and what I just want to do with the book is just share a few of the tips that I've found but say don't beat yourself up do the bits you can do when you can do them and you know continue and then maybe time will come and you'll do a few more can I, can I ask you do you have an all-time favorite tip one that you still can't quite get over how amazing it is I've got lots of them actually we're going to talk about lots of little yeah. things here I mean the crystal deodorant is probably one of my absolute okay. favorites the light boxes are fabulous which I don't think we've got a, a prop here but light boxes you know which are for seasonal affective disorder I mean I'm always banging on about them but I used to work night shifts and, and getting up in the middle of the night, you have so little daylight. Tell me about it. it yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you really should get one. You know, yeah. full spectrum lighting, it will actually sort of give you a zing. I mean, astronauts okay. use them, so it must be is good that for right? you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And what have you got there? I've like got a, a gift watch with for no you. Time. I've got a fabulous gift for you. This is actually um, a Bioflow. And what you do with this is you wear it on your wrist. Yeah. I'm wearing one on my wrist, a slightly more feminine one. Yeah. Um, it's central reverse polarity. That's the technical bit. And you know how magnet therapy is used in hospitals? And this mimics the magnetism. So the idea is that the magnetic therapy <laughs> stimulates the blood flow and has a beneficial effect right. on your blood. So it's brilliant for... I know you're a picture of health at the moment, <laughs> okay. but, you know, should anything ever go south? Yeah. Um, this is brilliant. There's a, as a little bit as too a, much going as south. As a preventative the moment, measure, <laughs> you know, for sort of helping with all kinds of things. Osteoarthritis okay. has been clinically proven. Thank so you very much. I'll, I'll give it a wear. Um, uh, OK. Um, but, that, but that's the, the kind of fairly expensive stuff. We have lots of stuff here, I must stress, that is oh so cheap. Well, I, I, I read uh, that something like uh, about 63 of your typical, typical products found in your typical home uh, comprise of hazardous chemicals, uh, anything from your washing powder to your deodorants. Now, we've got a range of alternatives here. Let's start down my end. Uh, what have we got and what does it do? OK, well, we're going to be talking balls and nuts, basically, for laundry. Right, balls okay? and nuts. Balls right. and nuts. When it comes to laundry detergents, it's a, a mess of chemicals, just horrendous, frightening, scary, toxic chemicals, which we, you don't really need on your skin because it will irritate your skin, and we don't really need them in the environment either because it will obviously eventually go into the food chain, etc. Okay. But these are fantastic. Can you pass that to me so okay. I don't that's, lose my microphone? That's like something a dog would have. <laughs> you need two of these. Right. Um, these are laundry balls, and all you do is pop them in the drum of your washing machine. Yeah. Inside them, they've got little pellets. I don't know if you want to yeah. chuck over a little pellet. She says, thank you. And little, these little pellets, yeah. um, what they do is they release ionised oxygen into the water, right. which changes the pH of it, changes the molecular structure, which is a very good word, write that down. Um, and then uh, what happens is it lifts the grime and the muck off your clothes, okay. softens the water, okay. works a treat. Do they work? Do they, they really work? They really do work. Now, they won't make your white luminous white. Right. Um, although you can then chuck in a bit of borax, which we'll talk about in okay. a minute, which will help. But um, they do but they clean the dirt off. Absolutely. And they'll last... 60 to 100 washers, you'll save water, you will save a fortune because they only say, cost you. Detergents cost a fortune. Exactly. So. Okay, okay. Cost you about 15 quid. This, these things here look like nuts. Which is exactly what they are. They're soap nuts. And, soap uh, nuts? They're soap nuts. And the shell, you can't, you can't eat them. I hate no, to okay. that. But they, are, they literally are nuts and they grow on trees, so they're a fabulous renewable resource. And in India and Nepal, I mean, they've been used for years for, for washing. And what you do is you literally stick the shells in a little each cotton bag, or even in a sock, you know, will yeah. do. Um, you're intrigued, aren't you, by these? Yeah, yeah, I, I, you, can't, I'm just, you, I, I can't work out yeah, how they work. Just, so they're in a sock. They're in, well, they're in a, a light sock or an unbleached muslin bag, or, you know, some little bag. Stick it in your washing machine drum, pop your ankle. Four or five of them will do up to six, seven washes. Or the other thing you can do with them is simmer them in a few litres of water for about 20 minutes. Yeah. And then you have got, well, crush them first, I should say, simmer them 20 minutes. You've got the best all-round cleaner ever. Fantastic for your hair. Okay, okay. Um, 
we've got lo loads of calls, so we might not have time to get through all these products. But first of all, uh, our director is a chap called Alex Cooper. We call him Cooper Man. He recently got <laughs> he recently got injured. That is a really natural photo we've got lined up for him. He recently <laughs> broke his leg actually while he was skiing. Oh, but he wants to know about uh, washing up liquids, and it is actually the same question that, that I would ask as well. Okay. One, what's wrong with regular washing up liquid, the traditional type, and two, how come every version of green washing up liquid I've tried, you need about half a gallon and it doesn't clean anything. You need to read my book because I'll tell you the ones to get. You don't need loads of it. Uh, first of all, what's wrong with it? Well, it's full of toxic chemicals, you know, at the end of the day. Some, yeah. of, some, some regular detergents, you know, washing up liquids, have even got musk compounds in, which is, trust me, you don't need that really, and it will irritate your skin, probably. Mm -hmm. And if you can, get one that's kinder to the environment, kinder to your skin, and but biodegradable. They, don't work. they absolutely work. They absolutely do. You need, I'll tell you which one, but off, off air, because okay. we won't go on okay. about brands. But the other tip is lemons. Just get a little bit of lemon juice, stick that in with it, cut right through the grease immediately. Okay. Bicarbonate of soda as well. Okay, Jenny, right. We've got loads and loads of calls lined up, so uh, let's throw it open to you at home. Corin, what do but, people want to know? Okay, first up, we're going to go to Carol from Cheshire on line two. Carol, thank you very much for picking up the, uh, the phone. I've just seen what your question is, and <laughs> I want to know the answer to this. Fire away. What is it, my dear? Uh, yeah, hi, Jenny. Um, just to ask you about granite worktops. I've got, uh, I've had them in my kitchen and um, I've got children, I've got a normal family home, so I'm not manic about them, but what can I use to keep them shiny? On a granite worktop? Yeah. Okay, well I, I would suggest um, bicarbonate soda is fantastic. If you f just fill your sink or half fill your sink with very hot water, stick in some bicarbonate soda, try and buy it in bulk so that you're not buying that little baking yeah. soda type, otherwise it, cost you, it will cost a fortune. Um, chuck some bicarbonate soda in there, get yourself a microfiber cloth, an e-cloth, um, they are around. great, I'll They're give fantastic. you that, they are great. Swish it around, do your work surface, brilliant. The other thing you could do, uh, totally antibacterial, is get some tea tree oil. Again, buy it in bulk, otherwise it'll cost a bit more. Two drops of tea tree oil directly on the surface, microfiber cloth. You don't need any chemicals, don't need anything. Okay, uh, don't whatever you do, by the way, Carol, add lemon juice to the mix. Yeah. Uh, granite is very sensitive to acid, you'll lose all the shine if you put anything acid in. Carol, thank you for the call. Let's have another, please. Fran from London on line five. Fran, fire away. What's your question for Janie? Please. Hiya, I live in a very hard water area. We've got lots of lime scale. A spot of water stains my sink. Yeah. My kettle's full of it, my washing machine's full of it. Is there a solution? Because I hate using chemicals great on there. Question. Yeah, it's great, a great question. Yes, great. It's a great question, Fran. Um, well, certainly in terms of the water that you drink and for your kettle, get yourself a reverse osmosis water filter. You know, a filter that goes sort of under the sink. Expensive. No, not really. Okay. Uh, way cheaper than buying bottled water and way kind of okay. the environment. You're talking um, uh, approximately 200 quid and it will okay. last you with one filter for well over a year. So certainly cheaper than bottled water. That will really help tremendously. There are also magnetic devices that you can stick on your water pipes that will help to soften your water as well. And just w when in doubt, use you know certainly for your laundry to help with softening the water. As I say, these uh, laundry balls are... Things. Balls and nuts, friends. Balls, balls, balls and, and nuts. nuts. That's it. Thank you very much. Now. I want to squeeze one more if we can please Let's okay have we have Maria from London on line four now Maria good morning how can Janie help you uh, good morning um, I've got eight year old baby and I'm breastfeeding so I wanted to ask whether is there any uh, natural deodorant I could use so chemicals Na don't pass into the milk great That's question because I uh, natural deodorant is what she's interested mm, in absolutely. and uh, and I know that sort of women should be very wary perhaps of conventional deodorants uh, because of risk of, I mean there's some theories about breast cancer links, absolutely yeah Nobody needs to use regular aerosol deodorants. They're terrible for the environment, not good for us, full of chemicals. These are crystal deodorant stones. That's one example. Absolutely use these. They're fantastic. Just you wet just it. Wet it, that's right. Yeah, just right. wet it slightly. Put a thin layer of mineral salts under your arm. It stops the bacteria from forming when the sweat yep. mixes with your clothes, basically. And you won't stink, and it will last you over a year. And I'll, I'll let you into a little secret. Righty's been using one of these, right? I bought for about four pounds for over a year, and I know. how good do I smell? <laughs> good, good. But that's all we got time for, I'm afraid. Eh? Nice aroma, isn't it? <laughs> it's mm -hmm. really good, yeah. Uh, my thanks to uh, Janie, our real-life green <laughs> goddess. Work. Tomorrow, by the way. <laughs>